and welcome to today's video. First of all, I mean, I just, I don't know what's going on with the hair today. It's not playing ball, so we're just gonna have to pretend like it isn't the messiest thing you've seen in your life. Today's video is a bit different. I've done videos similar to it in the past, but I haven't done it for a few months. If you remember a few months back, I used to do like a monthly unboxing of like a food subscription box called Digusta Box. And I kept having the same thing where I'd really enjoy them if they were full of like snacks and chocolate and crisps and sweets and things like that. But when it was actual food, I was just a bit like, uh. Which is why I pretty much stopped doing it because it was just too much that I didn't want to eat and it was just a bit of a waste. So I kept saying in those videos, how good would it be if I could just have a box full of sweets and chocolate and just nice, nice junk food basically. Oh well. Good news, I found one and it is called Munch Pack. So before I dive right in, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it um, and then I'm gonna show you what's inside. Now I got super excited because on all of the labels and stuff, which I won't show you because personal address, um, it says the description of contents, chips, cookies and candy. I mean, how could you not get super duper excited about this? So, automatically, I wanted to rip this open straight away, but I didn't. I waited all of about five minutes um, because I was at work and it seemed a little bit inappropriate. But anyway, I've had a good look inside and I am dying to try some things. It is a box full of sweets, candy, chocolate, crisps, junk food, and just happiness um, and you get to choose whether like how often you want it so you could go for every week which oh my god how amazing would that be um, every two weeks or every month so it's not like the standard sort of subscription boxes you get because they're normally like once a month but this you can literally choose how much you want and when and how often my god my brain is not working so yeah you get to choose like how many snacks you get in the box so i think the smallest one is like five snacks next one up is 10 which is this size i believe the next one up from that is a family box so if it's not just one of you or maybe if it is just one of you and you really enjoy binge sessions like i do I would genuinely be tempted to go for the family one and just sit there and I would probably demolish the whole thing in one sitting. Which is how I got myself into the state I was in before and now also trying not to get there. Unfortunately, I still have a fat mindset and um, yes, I'm going to fucking enjoy this very much. Also, if you try something out of one of these boxes that you really, really like and want more of, they actually have an online shop so you can literally buy more of that thing that you really like, which I thought was pretty cool because often, unless they're in like supermarkets, you can't really do that. So I like the fact that they have this option as well. What I'll do, because I'm dying to show you what's in here, is I'll put all of the extra information in the description box, as well as anything else I can think of that you might ask um, to save you asking me. But yes, let's dive right in. So this is the box, and I cannot show you me opening it because of my address. But when you first open it, you're greeted with this, um, they have a snack scanner, which means you can scan the barcode on the back of your favorite snacks to learn more about the taste, texture, and country of origin. This I'm going to do, actually, because there's a couple of things that I just don't know what they are. My snack scanner has finished downloading, and originally I thought it was a bit weird that they didn't have like a card in the box. Um, if I just give you like an overview. They, there wasn't like a card telling me what each of the things were. Now I get it, because you get this. So, let's do the first thing. Our corn cheese, cream cheese. These to me look like Watsits with cream cheese on there. Although cream cheese in the UK, I think is something completely different to what maybe this might be. I'm gonna try out their little scanner thing and see what it says. Oh. These are from, this is so cool, Ooh. oh my god, this is a brand new phone as well, I nearly dropped it. Okay, these are from Korea, they're $3, which is like, how much? And I don't even know. Um, it says, a light fluffy corn chip with real cheese cream. 
These remind, of a, these remind us of Cheetos. Oh my god, do you remember Cheetos? They're still a thing in America, aren't they? But I don't think they are anymore in the UK. These remind us, remind us of Cheetos. Of what Cheeto? Oh my god, I'm so screwing this up, I'm sorry. These remind us of what Cheetos would be like if they decided to put flavoured cream on them. Okay, by the looks of it, say if you ate these and really liked them, you would scan them, you get this page, and then you can add to your cart. That's so clever. Okay, I'm not going to scan each and every one of these because it's going to take forever. But there are a couple of things that, like I said, I just don't know what they are. The next ones are potato chips in hab habanero, 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 I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> in chilli flavour. Can I get away with that? There you go. Hab habanero? Hab hab jabanero? Okay, can you guess who is allergic to chilies and so doesn't eat them and so hasn't learned what the different ones are? So yeah, I shan't be eating these, I shall pass them on. I cannot tolerate spice in the slightest. My level of spice, like just to give you an idea, at Nando's I am lemon and herb. Doesn't that say it all really? <laughs> the next things look really nice actually. These are peanut butter cups and you can see each one of those has something different on there. So the first one is topped with a chocolate chip cookie. The next one is topped with candy coated chocolate pieces, which kind of just looks like um, cheapo M&Ms. And then the last one is topped with a chocolate sandwich cookie, which is basically a cheapo Oreo. <laughs> these look nice. Next, we have these, or we do sometimes have these in the UK. Kit Kat Chunky, which is the hazelnut version. So, yeah, I wonder if there must be some places where you don't get this. But yeah, I'm sure we have these. I know we have had them. I don't know if they've stuck or not, depending on how popular they are. The next one, again, I think these look really nice. These are called, or they're by Frit, and they are chewy cherry candy, or sweets. Basically sweets. Right, this is one of the things I didn't know what it was. Um, because there is a diagram on the back, but again, I just, I don't know, and it's this. Now you can see why I don't really know what it is. Straight away, um, I was just like, I don't know. And then on the back, it says that you pour powder into a pan, or what, what's this called? Like a dish, and then you mix it with water, and then that looks like that creates ice cream. But again, completely guessing. So I'm going to use this scanner and see um, what they say. Okay. Oh. This said it's not found. It's, it keeps saying it's not found. This is the one that I really need to work. This is just loading and loading and loading. So I'm going to put this to one side and see if it loads at some point. Moving on. We have these, which look yummy. These remind me of, is it Mikado? Like the little stick things. These are almond and chocolate. They look so good. They look really, really nice. Oh, these are from Korea. Next, again, this is one that I need to scan because I really don't know what it is. I mean, is that a grape? Do we think they're grapes? It just kind of feels like jelly, like squishy jelly sweets. Um, oh, this is loaded. So, this little ice cream thing is from Japan. And it says, you put this candy together yourself, combine the sprinkles, water, and mix it together, and you've got your own ice cream-like candy that you put on the wheat cracker cone. Do you get cones in there? Right, okay. So, you get like a little sachet of, I presume, is the sprinkles. And then you get three... Three teeny tiny ice cream cones and a tiny little spoon. These are so cute. I have no idea if this is going to work. Water wise, we've got a 10cc. What is that? I mean, we work in like millilitres. So 10cc cubic, cubic centimetres. Is that wrong? That feels wrong. I don't know, I'm gonna have to Google that, but that's that anyway. That's so cute. And they are $2 apparently. I actually really love this little scanner, it's so useful. There we go. 
So this is loading. Again, it's not found it, come on. These are from Japan, so it's Japanese that I can't read. <laughs> Um, these are three dollars for this and it is, um, oh I wish I hadn't have read this and we'd just eaten them. They're exceptionally sour grape pack, a powerfully delicious sour grape flavour and are super sour then sweet like you've, like nothing you've ever tried before. Wow, I nice know, we shall see. Yeah, I'm totally not telling Dan, I just want to watch his face. I actually really like sour stuff though, so i um, intrigued to know if they're going to be nice or not. I've got two things left. The next one are some frugel, frugel fruits, which basically just looks like a pack of squishy fruit sweeties. And then finally, which looks quite yummy, is a Jaffa cake chocolate bar. My little scanner isn't working too well with some of these so what I'll do is I'll go through and scan each of them and put a little bit more info in the description box so if you want to check that out you can see how much things are and also where they're from. So that concludes everything in the box. I am going to have such a good binge session tonight and also really enjoy watching Dan's face as he eats those creep things. Oh, I'm so evil. Um, I absolutely love that little scanner. It is a little bit temperamental. I don't know if that's going to be my internet or just because I've got shaky hands, but yeah, I'll see how it works later on. But um, like I said, I'll leave all of the information in the description box. If you'd like me to do another one of these videos, so another one of these boxes, again, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can get that sorted for you. So that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget links to my Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat are down below. So if you want to come over and follow me, that would be awesome. Apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.